Hey everybody, it is me, Angel Benton, and it is time for another edition of Angel Sudsy Recap, where we delve into the world of daytime television and do a few reality shows on the side. Excuse me. And do I look a little red? I got a little bit of sun today. I just went for a walk for my lunch hour, and it was in the sun. I just look a little bit red. Um, anyways, so... One of those reality shows that we do is The Real Housewives of New York City. And I just finished watching this week's episode, so I'm going to talk all about it. But before we get into that, there's a couple things that there are a couple things that I want to mention from the week before that I didn't get to because I ran out of time. So the first one was and this was actually from a couple weeks ago when Tinsley was talking about um, Frenchie, when, when, um, Frenchie was like, and what is it, is a guy, uh, Rocco, you know, whatever, right? And she was telling the story about how when Sonia first met Frenchie, she thought he was for Tinsley, but then she decided to have him for herself. So Tinsley was like, yeah, thanks a lot, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was hilarious. Second of all, Okay, so last week was the epic remo uh, Dorinda. First of all, I love Dorinda. I love Dorinda. I, I love Dorinda because, like, there's a way that Ramona and Sonia are very unfiltered, right? Well, they say whatever comes into their mind. Dorinda also is the same way, except Dorinda tends to gild the lily more, so it's actually a lot more palatable. So you can take what Dorinda has to say, because first of all, you know that there's not a mean bone in Dorinda's body. Uh, whereas with Ramona, sometimes you think, uh... And Sonia, I don't necessarily think she's mean either. I just think that she doesn't really know any better. But Dorinda, definitely, she knows she can get her point across without being a bitch about it, right? Which is great. Although, when she has a couple drinks in her, whoo, you know, uh, a couple seasons ago when they had the the famous fuck you dinner with um, Heather, holla, uh, I miss Heather. I really do miss Heather, actually. I really liked Heather a lot. You know, it's unfortunate that she's not on the show anymore. I really enjoyed her. Um, Aviva, I um, you know, the best part about Aviva was that one dinner at Le Cirque, which she totally planned and admitted it later on Watch What Happens Live anyways. But anyways, but so the, this is the, the infamous showdown in the Bronx where Dorinda was all clip, clip, which FYI, I've been saying that constantly. That is my new thing now because it reminds me, it is so funny. So I, I said, actually, you know what? I um, was talking to my little sister and she was talking about getting a tattoo and I don't mind a small tattoo, but she when she said the word sleeve, I said, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? She was like, what? I was like, I just wanted to say, are you kidding me four times, just like Ramona did. <laughs> I don't care what she does. I just, you know, I mean, I care, but, you know, whatever. It's her life. It's her body. She can do what she wants with it, but. Anyways, moving on. So that in that infamous lunch where she was like, clip, clip. At the end, she was like, fool. I'm sorry. I love shit like that. I love it when people don't... I love, I love the most random things. Because, like, when she called her a fool, it was very Disney villain-esque, right? It kind of reminded me of something Maleficent would say, or the Evil Queen, or even Ursula... Fool. Fool. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. That to me, if I was um, Sonia, that would hurt me more than calling me a slut or a bitch or a whore or a cunt or something like that. That wouldn't hurt me as much as her calling me a fool, right? And, that, and that's kind of my whole deal about cursing is that, you know, I, I would much rather, if, if you're going to curse someone out, you can curse someone out and not use bad words. And that's a perfect example. Another good example. Oh, my God. I love this so much. This was on the Housewives of New Jersey when Caroline Manzo called Danielle Staub a clown. Uh, I live. I live. I live. I mean, that was, I mean, that was like a knife through the heart. She was like, you're a clown. <laughs> that was it. I love it. I love it. Now, don't get me wrong. Teresa also had some good moments, you know, uh, 
where she was like, wait, what did she, oh, don't, she said, and when Danielle was like, don't call me honey, and she's like, oh, is bitch better? That was, that was a good one. That was a good one, too, even though it was a little, you know, crossing the line, I still thought that was kind of funny. Okay, but I, I had to mention those, because that cracks me up. Oh, my God, it was so f fool. I love it. I love it. Uh, I, I don't want her calling me a fool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I probably would have cried if she did. I'm not joking. Anyways, I, although now I probably would love it if she would. Please call me a fool, Dorinda. I love it. Okay, so this week, um, they all went to Vermont. And they all went skiing in Vermont, right? And so, you know, last week, Tinsley, Tinsley sort of had a meltdown. But this week, it was all good because Bethany and Tinsley made up. And she, Bethany apologized. She's like, you know what? I'm sorry um, for getting on to you in terms of, oh, sorry, in terms of, you know, your own personal journey. I don't know where you are, so I apologize. You know, you take your time. You do whatever you need to do. You know, I, you don't need me, you know, giving you all this pressure and all that stuff. So do I still have a scab? What is that? Is that from my glasses? I don't think so. That's from my glasses this permanent indentation, but I don't know what that's, anyways. All right, so, um, Dorinda, God, God bless Dorinda, again, she was, she kind of went, she kind of went in on Luann a little bit. Now, Dorinda, now this is, listen, this is the end of the night. First of all, she even commented, and this is Dorinda talking, but she was like, uh, Tinsley is an Olympic day drinker and I have to give Tinsley props too because I can't drink in the daytime that much because literally after three drinks and it's not that I become like you know weepy or or um which is funny because I did do that one that one episode of Sudsy Recap where I did sort of break down and cry but but other than that I'm really not that emotional I just fall asleep. I'm just tired. I just get tired and I need to sleep it off. So I just need to fall asleep. That's all. I need to take a nap. Right? Because I'm old. <laughs> I need a nap. Um, but Tinsley could just go and go and go. And apparently she's on some medication too. Which, you know, unless... See, here's the thing. I used to run with a very wild crowd. Let's put it that way. And even though I didn't partake in... in I. Part, I partook in practically nothing that they did, but I still was still friends with them and I didn't judge them. And I actually learned a lot. And I learned that really the only thing you really can't mix with booze is GHB and what's the other, ecstasy. Well, no, you can take booze and drink. What is the other one? It's There's GHB, there's something else you can't mix with booze. I can't remember what it is. Comment to me if you remember what it is. But I know you, there, you are under... You are never under any circumstances allowed to mix GHB with booze because that could be a deadly combination. I get it. So, anywho, a little, a couple pills, please, kid stuff, right? I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, Tinsley. I got gotcha your back. Um, oh my God. And then she had the most hilarious thing she was talking about. They were talking about anal sex at the dinner table, which of course you know is wonderful. And they were talking about anal sex, and Tinsley was like, I don't have a problem. I'll tell you, I had anal sex uh, because it was my husband. And my husband was huge, and he stuck it in, and it hurt, and I cried. <laughs> I, you got to love her honesty, you know? Um, what what did surprise me was that Dorinda was like, you know, men and women are not supposed to lay each other like that. That's inappropriate behavior. But if it was two men, would you have felt the same way? I don't think so. I think she would have, you know, she doesn't care if it's two gay guys. But if it's two women, I mean, it's... A part's a part. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I think I, I don't necessarily think that that was homophobic, but it definitely was like, well, that doesn't make... It just didn't make sense. That's what I'm saying. It didn't make sense. I, I, the last thing I think Dorinda is is homophobic, but I thought that that comment wasn't really well thought out. But again, this was the end of the night, and she'd been drinking. And then she just went in on Luann and called Luann out, and that was... Very random, because that came out of nowhere. But she was right, you know. She's like, listen, you know. And Bethany actually broke it down. She was like, look, we get that you had a long, a hard road going up to your marriage with a lot of shit coming out in the public and all that stuff. But, um, you know, 
to say that you're happy and everything, we get that. That's great. You can say that. That's wonderful. But but oh, I love Palm Beach. I love the Hamptons. Blah blah blah. That's a little bit phony. So I I, I appreciate that. So it was really it was really good. That was actually a really good moment. So I enjoyed that. I loved this episode. I thought it was really really good. Anywho. I want to say thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Angel Benton. You can hashtag R-H-O-N-Y or Real Housewife shit, so I know you're talking to me, to talk about the Real Housewives of New York. Or you can hashtag Below Deck Med because we're going to talk Below Deck Med. And I don't think that there was a new episode on yesterday, so I'll be very curious to see... We'll, I'll figure something out, but we're going to be talking about Below Deck Med. We'll figure it out. Um, thank you so much, everyone. You all have a... Oh, and you can also hit that little subscribe button on my YouTube channel so that you get my videos sent to your inbox every single day. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for logging on today. I appreciate it. Have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.